Nature Break, God's Words, the Bible. Hi, boys and girls. It's time for a nature break with Stephanie, me, the nature lady. But not only me, because today I have a friend with me. It's Alexis. Say hi to Alexis. Alexis. Say hi to the boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. Yeah. Now, you know how we have been learning about the wonderful things in creation, the things that God made in six days on Nature Break? Well, you know where you can find them? In the book of Genesis, in the Bible. Yes, the wonderful book, the words of God that he gave us. So right now, Alexis. Can you sing a song about the Bible? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's hear her sing. Ready? Go ahead. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Wow, that was great. <laughs> Welcome to Nature Break, where you find God's object lessons in nature. Our Father in Heaven is the source of life, of wisdom, and of joy. Look at the wonderful and beautiful things of nature. As a nature lady, I love to go hiking in the mountains, and every once in a while, I'll see a sign that says, be aware, do not feed the bears, because if you do, they'll probably end up in your camp or in your trash can trying to get food, so it's important to read signs, but the most important thing to read is the Holy Bible. It's God's word to us. The Bible has instructions to live a better life and to show love to God and man. Alexa did a wonderful job singing the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. Just like the word Bible, each letter can tell us about God, like the letter B. The letter B stands for big. Not only did God make the earth and everything in it, but he also made the whole universe. All the galaxies, wow, our God is big. No, huge. The letter after B in Bible is I, and that stands for inspirational. There are so many promises and people and stories in the Bible that teach us lessons of love to God and to man. One of my favorite stories is about Jonah and the big fish that swallowed him. If you want to know more about the story of Jonah, you have to read your Bible. The next letter in the word Bible is B, and that stands for blessing. God has blessed us with the wonders of nature. All the beauty no that us helps us Realize how wonderful God is and how He takes care of His created things. How truly it is by God's nature and His creative works. And you are too. The next letter is L and it stands for love. Just like the waves come and wash away sin in our life. God's love washes away our sins through the blood of Jesus Christ, who came to die for our sins. Now that's love. And now we come to the last letter in the word Bible. It's E, and it's for everlasting life. In John 3.16, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
Well, boys and girls, I sure would like to have everlasting life in heaven with Jesus. Don't you? Well, I'll see you next time on Nature Break. Blessings.